What a terrible weekend, dude. I mean, just... So this one right here, um, Reno Air Racing Association CEO and loss of two bios, it could happen to any one of us, which is true, but for the grace of God, go I. Right. Um, <clears throat> the chairman and CEO of the Reno Air Racing Association, Fred Telling, told the Reno Gazette on Sunday that two pilots died and their planes crashed just before landing were two of his best friends. Um, so it was an unfriendly formation. It's not like a choreograph choreographed routine maneuvering around each other and trying to find a way that they can advance and do better than the next guy. So there was a moment of silence with both pilots remaining air races. We know it can happen to any one of us as we pilots assume the risk, or we as pilots, we assume it won't happen to us, but we know it could. Elling said he and other pilots will honor Macy and rushing skill and passion. It was, wasn't a racing accident. It was indeed a post-race landing gap. I had read somewhere else it was like a final turn. You know, it was a deconfliction thing, not a reno air race specific thing so to me that's you know dude you just go through this entire race and then uh, but that's that's where it gets you <laughs> yeah the say, that's yeah. where the guards down yep. you know that's yep. where you've that adrenaline dump starting to you're coming off that hey yeah. you know we just did this and and that's where most of the stuff happens especially final turn stuff or, or in the pattern in general i mean what do you think Augie? i mean well, <clears throat> well, we talk about it. Like I, I used to use the, uh, the phrase when I was an instructor, I'd say, okay, man, take off your BFM hat, put on your formation hat. Right. Cause yeah. like you said, um, and for these guys being racers, your focus is on the race. Your entire focus is on the race, man. And you just like it or not, you kind of give lip service to the more administrative things like, you know, just getting to the start and landing obviously. So, but <clears throat> Like you alluded to, man, you let your guard down, and that's when that's yeah. when things can get you. So I mean, deconfliction. De you know, Reno, the Mustang uh, crash. There were a lot of two of four guys there. In fact, one of our mutual friends was was there. You mean like, the one where that's uh, the tab broke off and it went straight yeah, up? He yeah, he went into the crowd. Yeah, I was and, in Key West when that happened. Well, the two hundred four was there because they were on a Fallon debt and really? they'd gone to the air race, and uh, like Bucky was one of the dudes that was like triaging people, pulling them really? out of the crowd. Oh yeah, dude, Bucky, <laughs> Sully, all of the two hundred four guys, and and you know they talk about it like it's war. You know, so horrific, and um, that one was tough to come back from because it was such a right. huge catastrophe, catastrophic event. Um, and now on the heels of all of that, you've got the, they, they've built up around it. So they're like, well, you know, we built near an airport. We don't want an airport anymore, you know, no more racing. And so they were trying to find a new place. I don't know if they had, so this was the last one they were saying this was it. And then they were yeah. going to find somewhere else. And to end on that note, cause this ended it obviously yeah. ended it on the worst possible note. It's just, it's terrible, man. Uh, obviously feel for the families and, and, <laughs> you know, friends of, of those killed, but, you know, Doug told, made a good point. I wish he were here right now, but that, you know, you assume the risk when you're a race car driver or fighter pilot race, you know, air racer, whatever it's the people on the ground that don't. And so, you know, we're fortunate that it was just two people and not a whole crowd again. Yeah, <clears throat> definitely, man. I mean, uh, that P 51 crash, you alluded to that thing. That thing was like feet away from <laughs> from going into the crowd and causing, you know, even more damage. What are you talking about? The P-51, it went yeah. into the crowd. Oh, it did? Yeah, that's what I I'm talking about. it landed about. right in front of them. No, no. That's what, like, the dudes at 204 were pulling people out of the, like, that had been killed really? in the crowd. Wow. Okay, yeah. I, I, only, I only saw what, what was on the news. Um, Yeah, man. I, I, you know, I know that it wasn't during the race, but, <clears throat> like, I... I'm not a huge fan of airplane racing. Just, I mean, it is, it is really high risk. I, I did the air show for the, uh, uh, they had the uh, Red Bull air races there in San Diego. And we actually got to hang out with those guys. And th granted they were doing like pylon individual pylon racing, but I mean, you know, look at those airplanes. They are like, they are, they're piston powered airplanes that are like beyond the limit, you know, operating. Very close to the ground, high speed, high G. I mean, there, there's a there's a lot that could go wrong, you know. Yeah, there's a uh, God. I want to find it. There's a fascinating art uh, interview on 
um, YouTube where one of the guys who investigated the Reno Aries crash, he was also a astronaut. So he talks about like Columbia and stuff. I have to find it, but, uh, just looking up the Reno Aries galloping ghost. Yeah, that's it. Third, yeah. third deadliest air show de- disaster in U.S. history. Also, did kill people. On the Killed ground. the pilot, ten people on the ground, and sixty-nine people were injured. Oof. Wow. <clears throat> nineteen seventy-two and nineteen fifty-one were the other two most deadly. But the Galveston Ghost was what twenty ten, twenty eleven, September sixteenth. Almost, I mean, to the day, right? Oh, wow. Uh, just terrible. Wow. Hoot Gibson. There you go. Yeah. There's a Hoot Gibson interview. Dude, check it out. I mean, this guy, I wish we need to find out how to get him on the channel because good Lord, yeah. he's like incredibly sharp, dude. Very fascinating. 